Hi there, I am Anne, founder and creator of Anne Skincare and Beauty and in this video I am going to introduce our flawless finish vegan makeup brush set. So it's a set with 13 pieces, 13 brushes, there are 6 face brushes, 7 eye brushes and it also includes a makeup blender sponge. It comes all together in a black faux leather holder like this that just snaps together to keep all your brushes safe in case you're traveling or I just keep it in the two separate pieces like this on my dressing table at home. So as I said it's a vegan set so that means we use the highest quality synthetic material to create the brush hair and it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's just absolutely beautifully soft against your skin. They are an absolute joy to use. It's a really flexible set of brushes. I use them every single day and I just wanted to put together a set of brushes that I can easily use whether it's just a few in the morning if I'm really in a rush or create a full-on glam look if that's what I want to do. So I am not a makeup professional whatsoever but I am somebody who really loves makeup and I love playing around and experimenting with different looks but most of the time I'm just trying to look presentable on a day-to-day -day basis. But this set is perfect for you whether it's the first time, this is your first set of makeup brushes perhaps, maybe you're a busy mum and you need to be out the door for five ten minutes in the morning and you don't have a lot of time, maybe you're a complete beauty makeup junkie that loves to experiment or maybe you're even a makeup professional. So I'm just going to talk you through how I typically use the brushes. If you want more information or want to go and look at it again maybe you are even on the page this video is on but you can go to beautybyanae.com forward slash brushes. So super easy URL beautybyanae.com forward slash brushes and there's um, a downloadable guide with images and descriptions of what the different brushes are for and suggested ways of using them and just loads of extra information. So very easy to pick up on all of that. Now I'm just gonna start with the very first brush that I usually reach for when I sit down to do my makeup and this is our flat angled foundation brush. So this is typically the first one that I would use when I apply my makeup. So I would either have the product on my hand and then just pick up the product like that and start blending it from the inner part of my face outwards or if I have the foundation on my face already I'll just obviously do that. I don't use streaky motions. Um, I feel with the surface area of this brush it's lovely and large. If There's just a lot of dabbing going on so just buffing into the face and you can really use it very easily to create more coverage if that is what you want to do. So this is the first brush to just to get a really even coverage as as light or as heavy as you want it. Then the next thing that I would do is typically go in with some concealer so that would be underneath the eyes. I also apply concealer on the eyelids. I usually use a ring finger just to tap that on on my nose, uh, chin a little bit and also my forehead. So my preferred brush for concealer is this tapered dome brush. Now some people I know really love applying the whole face of foundation with this brush actually actually so but I love it for concealer specifically so I then just go in underneath my eyes especially uh, bits around the nose um, also on my eyelids and it's just a beautifully soft brush it really fits around the contours of your face especially these bits that you want to make sure um, is properly covered you can also do a bit of spot concealing especially with the tip and just work that into your skin wherever that's needed right so the next one that i would typically go in for or with is just depends on whether i um, I do like a full contour kind of face or maybe I just go in with some bronzer that just depends on the day really but if I go in with a cream contour product so um, for example I love using the Fenty um, what do you call it contour sticks 
Fenty contour sticks. So I would apply the contour um, to my face and then I would go in with the precision angled contour brush. Now I'm going to just show you in comparison to the foundation brush, they kind of look similar from the side um, because they're both angled but from the front you can see that the contour precision angle angled contour brush it's got a different shape and it's thinner so it really fits into those places that you want to get more of a sculpted look so it fits beautifully just here under the cheekbone for example go up around by the temple do your contour contouring around the um, forehead and this is how we easily achieve that number three shape when we do our contouring products so very very easy to use just swap around fit the ankle around the contours of your face and this works really well with cream products you can also use it to do more blending between your, your contour of contouring and your concealer or whatever the case may be because of the shape it also fits very easily down the side of your nose so that's what i use to do a bit of shading here around the nose area so all of the brushes are made to be used with cream product or powder product or liquid foundation for example or gel products or mousse or whatever the case may be whatever it is that you use the next one if i don't go in with a cream contour product um, i will instead use the large angled um, bronzer contour powder brush um, a very flexible brush this works perfectly especially with powder products so i would just pick up the product so if this is a, um, a bronzing powder for example perhaps and and i would go in just the same you can see it just fits beautifully around the contours of your face again it's such a joy to use it's such a lovely brush um, this is also my blusher brush so i would the same brush that I would use for bronzer contouring I will just go in with a blusher and just go on the apples of my cheeks very very easy then the next little brush is probably if I have to choose a favorite out of the face brushes it will be this smaller tapered buffing and blending brush and you can do so many things with this um, if I go out to London for the day say for meetings and I just want to take one brush with me then I will grab this one because you can do foundation you can do concealer you can do your bronzer you can do contouring you can do blusher highlighter you can set you do some setting powder at the end of your look um, and I even I've used it on my eyes in the past as well so this is a very very flexible um, little brush in terms of how I use it say on a day-to-day -day basis I use it to apply highlighter just here on the high points for example and also to set some powder some from time to time just in the different places it's lovely for some powder more precision placement for powder underneath your eyes and then everybody needs a large fluffy powder brush I believe and this is the um, this is the large fluffy powder brush so I would typically use this as well for setting powder at the end or if I want to do bronzer and I just want to kind of hit the high points on my face then this is absolutely lovely lovely brush to use for that um, also if you want to go down your neck and just make sure that everything is blended in ears neck and sometimes just to get a bit of bronzer down to the cleavage perhaps um, I also like to sometimes use sometimes use a bronzing powder like on my shoulders around this area so maybe going out at night and kind of got some strapless dress on for example um, so this brush is absolutely perfect for that so that covers our face brushes and now I'm just going to talk you through our seven eye brushes so the very very first one that I would use usually and um, so now I've obviously I've done my face and I've done all the foundation and contouring and concealing and all those bits I would typically go in with um, our double-ended eyebrow and spoolie brush 
sorry just took me a second to get that there um so the double ended brush looks like this so it's got the um slanted eyebrow brush there at the top and then if you turn it over it's got this mascara one spoolie kind of brush at the bottom so such a useful little tool the um, spoolie brush i would usually then go in first thing brush my eyebrows through so that just to kind of get rid of some foundation that might have gone in there just to tidy it up and to see where the little gaps are especially since my eyebrows seem to have stopped growing kind of halfway through here so i always need to extend that um so it just makes sure that it's all combed through tidy then apply whatever it is that you use on your eyebrows so whether it's powder or a gel or a pomade kind of product apply that and then usually i would go in with the spoolie brush again and just brush it through to make sure everything is all done and neat and tidy that i haven't missed any little gaps for example so it's just very gentle just to brush through there and then you can also use a little setting spray if you want to just make sure that everything stays in place i also use the spoolie always after i've applied all my eye makeup just to brush through my lashes um so that there isn't any clumpiness when i get to the point of applying mascara so really useful little brush so this was the double ended eye brow and spoolie brush I think typically the next brush that I would go in for, with is to start applying um, eyeshadow and the first one that I go in with is just our eyeshadow brush it's not too large it's not too small it's kind of flat from the side a little bit rounded at the end and this is typically the brush that I use so now I've already got some um, concealer on my eyelids just to lift the whole area up and then I would go in with this brush to apply some a light like a base color all over my eyelid so it will be like a bone color perhaps but again it's the whole idea is just to light everything up a little bit so I would go in with this it just covers the eyelid beautifully and also all the way up to the brow um, this brush can be used multiple times obviously to build up color pigment on the lid um, in whatever way you choose and whatever kind of look that you're going for then typically i would go in with our next brush which is the blending brush and you can see the bristles here are a little bit longer than the eyeshadow brush so there's the comparison maybe a little bit more pointy as well so the blending brush basically does what it says it blends um, how I typically use it is I would then go in with the second color um, on the palette that I want to start building and I would start going into the crease so that's where I would start to just create a little bit of definition um, there in the crease and then just start building that up and building that up so i think um obviously i think when it comes to makeup it's always especially eye makeup the blending the blending the blending so so important so this is what we will use to start building up some color in the crease um, but also the blending brush is just really crucial for making sure that you don't have any harsh lines and just kind of get that kind of soft focus look so you really get that flawless finish on your eyeshadow so once you're all done maybe you want to go back in here and there and just make sure that everything is properly blended then the next thing the next brush usually the next step that i would do is i would use this angled eyeshadow brush um i love this brush and again if i have to pick one brush out of the eye set then i will probably pick this one for a day out or going away whatever the case may be um so this angled eyeshadow brush if you compare it with the the normal one you can see there is an angle just there um, so the way that I use it now that I've started to define the crease as then I will go and pick up so the next kind of color maybe like the darker color that I will be using and I will start building that in the crease so it really fits very well here in the corner out corner of the eye and it fits well in three places really so I use it here in the outer corner of my eye it also fits beautifully just there in the arch of your brow if you want to go there with some highlighter 
And then what I love to do as well is to apply like a lighter color and highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. And this really just sits beautifully just in that space. So that's what I tend to use usually. And also it's a blending brush. So it's, it's very easy just to work it into the places that you need to. Okay. So, next brush, <laughs> very important, I think, is a pencil brush. I really love this because it's just um, so useful for a bit more precision application for darker colors in the, in the crease and also building up around the corner of the eye. You can also use it to smudge the top lash line, lower lash line a little bit, and especially if you like sweeping some color underneath the lower lash line. I don't tend to do that. Very often I'm not very good good at it to be honest um, so very useful little brush and you can also use this to do some more precision placement of highlighter in the corner of the inner corner of the eye so if you want to be a little bit more precise about where you want to place your highlighter then that's an easy one to use so the next one is our smudge brush and it just does what it says. This is our little smudge brush. Um, the bristles are a little bit more firm, fairly smallish kind of brush. And this is what I would typically use to after I've applied my eyeliner. So whether it's powder, for example, or I've used a tattoo gel eyeliner or a pencil, then I would use this if I want to smudge my eyeliner. So fantastic to create a fabulous smoky eye and also works really well with the pencil brush. So I sometimes even use it to do a little bit of liner as well. So works really well if you need to just really push some pigment into your lash lines especially. Oh, I also know of some people who actually use this as a lip brush, I have heard. So I just love hearing how different people are using different brushes. It just, um, yeah, it's always fascinating to me. And then last but not least, we have our smaller precision angled eyeliner brush. So this one is a little bit smaller than the eyebrow brush. A little bit firmer as well a bit more pointy so this is the one that I use to really line and define my eyes depending on whether I use um, a powder product or gel so it works really well you can use it wet or dry I if I use a powder product I usually use it wet so this one is really useful to get some really precise lines done really precise definition especially if you want to do a nice cat eye with a flick um, so yeah this is our little precision angled eyeliner brush and there you have it that's our set of 13 brushes six for the face seven for the eyes um, if you would try them out if you decide to do that I would really love to see what kind of looks you create and I would love to feature you on our social media so please make sure that you tag hashtag and a flawless finish because I would just that just makes me so happy <laughs> to see how people use the brushes to create amazing different looks so thank you for watching if you have any questions for me please don't hesitate to get in touch thank you for being here i always appreciate you and thanks for watching i'll talk to you again very soon bye for now